G'day, Paleo Paul here, and this week something a little bit different. I've got a collection of fossils, and I'll explain why a collection uh, a little later on. These are small invertebrate fossils from a deposit in Illinois in the United States, and they're Mississippian in age, or in the civilized world would say lower Carboniferous, uh, so about 335 million years old, give or take a couple of days. What's important about this collection is that they were part of the fossils that made it into my collection thanks to a pen friend that I had in the United States. And this was back when I was in primary school in Sydney. And uh, a teacher in my primary school, who was American, had a mother-in-law who was a fossil collector in the States. And we spent many years corresponding backwards and forwards and swapping specimens around. So I suppose the take home message today is the importance of pen friends and other collectors in building your collection. Let's have a look at what she sent over. In this package, we've got things like this, which is a small creature called a blastoid. Now, uh, this particular one is called Pentromites. And these are a completely extinct group now, but you can see that they've got five point symmetry. So that there's five different directions in which you can divide that particular uh, creature up. This is the head uh, and it's related to uh, sea stars and sea urchins and sea lilies. Uh, but it's from a group called the blastoids, which are, as I said, now completely extinct. These would have been attached to the, the sea floor by these stems, uh, and they would have floated up here and they filter feed in the water column like that, permanently attached to the sea floor. Also attached to the sea floor were these guys. This is a solitary rugose coral. Uh, so, whereas most corals that we think of today uh, live in colonies of lots of individual creatures, this was just a single coral polyp. And you can see that inside the cone there is where the creature itself actually lived. And this is the calcareous shell, uh, the little stone house that it made for itself for protection. And this is another colonial creature. This is a thing called Archimedes uh, because it looks like Archimedes screw, uh, the old uh, device that the Greek philosopher is supposed to have invented. This is actually a colony of creatures called Bryozoa and this would be the center of the colony and fans would come out from the crests of each of those ridges so you would have had a, a large spiral fan and the creatures would be living within that fan. And closely related to those bryozoa are these guys. These are two different types of creatures called brachiopods. Brachiopod shells are quite common fossils throughout the fossil record. And superficially, they look like clam shells. And first of all, people say, oh, I've got a little clam here. They're nothing to do with clams. And one way to pick the difference is that if you look down the hinge between the two shells, you can see that they're not equal, that one side is smaller than the other. Whereas in clam shells, the two sides are equal. Another way to pick the difference is if you look across the shell, you will see that a brachiopod is symmetrical around the midline whereas clam shells are not symmetrical when you look at this side. They tend to be uh, one-sided. So that's my little collection, or part of the little collection, that I amassed thanks to my pen friend in the United States. So if you want to build your fossil collection, perhaps instead of a hammer and chisel, you need to invest in a pen and a writing book.
For more fascinating fossil videos, tune in to the Paleo Pictures YouTube channel.